She was left in a parking lot with a note. It said, I'm Venezuelan and don't have the means to take care of her. Her name is Angela. At just four days old, she's the youngest victim in a growing humanitarian crisis. Over one million Venezuelans have poured into Colombia in less than two years, fleeing their country's deteriorating economy. Many are young children, now living in precarious conditions. At Cucuta's biggest soup kitchen, church leaders say some parents are so desperate they try to give away their children. Each day, officers patrolling the streets take at least one or two Venezuelan kids into custody. Colombian welfare authorities say they have several hundred children in their system. On a recent night, officers found a 17-year-old mom and her toddler selling lollipops by a stoplight. Officials decided to place both in a foster home. No son las condiciones ideales para mantener un, una niña, primero de dos años, en un cochecito, en una esquina de un semáforo. Many more are living out of view in equally dire conditions. Five-year-old Daniel lives in one small room with extended relatives, his parents, and three siblings. He sleeps on a worn, flat mattress on the floor. He says, it bothers me, and then pointing to his back, because this hurts. Indigenous Venezuelans now settling along the banks of the Tachira River face perhaps even greater adversity. Children with lice and distended bellies from malnutrition and parasites. Necesitamos un ayuda urgentemente aquí en nuestros comunidades. Some families, so anxious to leave Venezuela, they're willing to walk across entire countries with their children. Darwin Zapata and his 12-year-old son recently set off walking from Colombia to Peru, hoping to hit rides along the way. No, estoy dispuesto a caminar. Si dure tres, cuatro, cinco años, dure todo lo que dure. For little Angela, there are still more questions than answers. Simplemente, pues, eh, con esa frialdad, si se puede decir, simplemente abandonándola, diciendo que no tenía los recursos para, para mantenerla. One more child caught in the chaos of an exodus. Cristina Mario, The Associated Press, Cúcuta.